Hello friends, my name is Dr. Rice and today we're going to be talking about second generation antihistamines. If you haven't watched the first two videos in this three part series on how antihistamines work as well as on first generation antihistamines, I highly recommend watching those two videos before you watch this one. Antihistamines are a group of medications that block the effects of histamine within your body. These medications can help symptoms one may typically experience if they have allergies like itching, sneezing, and congestion. Specifically, these medications are called second generation antihistamines because they were discovered after the now older first generation antihistamines. There are three major second generation antihistamines to look out for. They are fexofenidine or Allegra, cetirizine or Zyrtec, and loratadine or Claritin. One thing that's really important to mention is that certain individuals respond to different antihistamines differently. That is, if you try taking the recommended dose of Claritin and it's not really getting the job done, try switching to an Allegra or a Zyrtec in order to help alleviate your symptoms. Because one second generation antihistamine may work a lot better for you than another. Now in terms of side effects, the good thing about these second generation antihistamines is that they do not cross the blood brain barrier. Again, this is the magical barrier that doesn't allow molecules to go from your blood into the neurons of your brain. This means that unlike the first generation antihistamines, these medications do not have as significant of an impact on your brain. So this means you're much less likely to experience the side effects of sleepiness, confusion, or lightheaded and dizziness. Also, the side effect profile of second generation antihistamines are virtually non-existent. Okay, they do exist, but they're very, 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 very small. They're actually one of the safest medications on the market today. As always, before you start taking a new medication, whether it's prescription or over the counter, please consult your local healthcare provider. If you found this information helpful and want to know even more about a specific medical topic, leave a comment down below.